Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome to lecture number 46. So, today uh, in this lecture, uh, we will wind up uh, the issues related to the three body problem. So, we are going to discuss about the generalized Langdon's solution, but obviously, if we, if we try to uh, work out the whole thing, uh, it may take at least 6 7 hours to discuss the whole content and we do not have that much of time. So, for uh, half an hour whatever I can discuss and uh, rest of the materials as uh, I told you earlier, I will uh, give you as handouts um, in the soft copy I will supply for that. There exist cases does not change. There exist cases where the geometric form of the three body configuration does not change. Although, the scale can change and figure can rotate. So, figure can rotate this is in the inertial frame not in the synodic. The scale change will be visible in the synodic frame ok and also uh, in the inertial frame, but figure rotation this is applicable to the inertial frame. So, already we know that the synodic frame is rotating and therefore, obviously, if, uh, the earlier case also if you have seen that uh, in the earth moon system in the inertial frame the L 4 and L 5 and uh, all other points they will be rotating, okay. but simultaneously there is a scale change involved. So, here in this case the L L 1, L 2, L 3, L 4, L 5 we got these were the stationary solution. So, these were the stationary solutions, but what we are discussing here this in the generalized solution there is change of scale. Okay. So, this figure will not remain on the same scale, but rather it will expand. So, if this is mass m 1 and somewhere the mass m 2 is there. So, this figure is not going to be the same, okay, this is bound to change and this is what in the gen generalized solution we look for. So, here in this case this particle distance between this particle which is fixed here this also will change ok, m 1 and m 2 distance that also will change. So, particle in one case the particle are at the vertices of an equilateral triangle 
still it is equilateral triangle, but the triangle is expanding ok, it is expanding like this. So, obviously, if you have mass m 1 here, mass m 2 here, so this is mass m 1, this is mass m 2. So, distance between this masses also it is a changing. In another solution, they are collinear. Lagrange showed that the three particle system, as we have been discussing earlier, three particle system. of arbitrary masses here we are not putting restriction on the mass m 3 this is the difference from the previous stationary solution that we were considering Langrange showed that the three particle three particle system of arbitrary masses could could exist in can occur could exist in such solution as mentioned above under what condition so the conditions under which this will happen, those conditions I will be once I supply those uh, soft material, soft copy of the derivation. So, in that you will find I am not going to derive all those things here. The resultant force. on each mass pass through the center of mass through the center of mass of the three particle system three particle or three body system. So, what it is telling that resultant force on each mass pass through the or passes through the center of mass of the three particle system. So, if we have three particles here, so on each mass the center of mass may be located here. So, on each mass the force acting it passes through the center of mass like this, this is your center of mass here, this is center of mass. So, this is what the first statement says and all these things can be derived that if we are looking for a solution. So, if we are looking for solution where the geometric form of the three body configuration does not change, but the scale change can take place. So, for that case this is applicable. While considering the stationary case, so the mass m the which was the tertiary mass or the third mass, its mass was assumed to be negligible. So, that it does not affect the mass m 1 and m 2. While here in this case all the three masses can be are important and as written here they are of arbitrary uh, three particle system of arbitrary masses. Okay. 
So, these are the some of the important points. Then the resultant force on each mass should pass through the center of mass of the three particle system. If this happens, condition 1, then the condition 2, the resultant force watt slash is force is directly proportional to the distance of each mass from the center of mass of the system. So, that means if this is the center of mass here, say this is the center of mass and there are three masses located. So, resultant force, force acting let us say this is mass m 1. So, force acting on this is f 1. So, this will be directly proportional to the distance of the mass from the center of mass and if this distance we write as r 1. So, this implies that f 1 will be proportional to r 1. This also can be derived if you have to maintain the configuration provided the scale can change. And the third one, this is the initial velocity vectors were proportional in magnitude to the respective the initial velocity vector to the respective distances of the particles from the center of mass and mid equal angles with radius vectors to the particles from from the center of mass. So, it says that the initial vector were proportional in magnitude to the respective distances of the particles from the center of mass. Means the center of mass is located here, particle m 1 is here. So, the initial velocity vector we are proportional in magnitude means the, if this is the velocity vector. So, v 1 magnitude is proportional it, we are proportional in magnitude to the respective distance if this distance is r 1. So, this is applicable here and mid equal angles with the radius vector to the particles from the center of mass. That means, if this is m 2 and this is b 2. So, these angles are equal if I write this as alpha 1 and this angle as alpha 2 okay, similarly alpha 3 for the third particle. So, all these angles are alpha 1 alpha 2 equal to alpha 3 these angles are equal which is being met with the radius vector. Okay. And with a comprehensive treatment all these things can be carried out. So, shape of the configuration the remaining same implies let us say that this is the center of mass we have particle m 1, m 2 and m 3 here. So, this is m 1, m 2 
m3 and this is the center of mass this vector we write as r1 this vector we write as r2 and this vector as r3 okay then this vector we will represent by r12 and similarly r13 we can represent like this from this place to this place this is r13 this is your r1 and here this is r13 this vector is r13 okay the same way r23 can be shown so r23 from this side to this side going from here to here this green one i am showing as r23 so configuration remaining same it implies that r12 divided by r120 this should be equal to r 2 3 divided by r 2 3 0 and r 3 1 or r 1 3 for configuration shape to remain the same this is the condition which is required and thereafter another condition will be required that if the ship also has to be maintained then the rotation rate of this rotation rate of this about the center of mass this is the center of mass o say okay so this is if we write this one as the theta 1 dot this we write as theta 3 dot and this as theta 2 dot so theta 1 dot equal to theta 2 dot equal to theta 3 dot this must be equal to the same if that happens that means the angle between all of them will be maintained this angle will remain same okay and thereby the configuration will be maintained if this rate becomes different so no longer the shape can be maintained so this is another condition so using this conditions we will be able to we can work out all these things so for in great details i will uh, supply all these materials once the course runs but uh, right now it's not possible to cover this because of the constraint on time okay. so if we using this we can get the linear sol collinear solution also and triangular solution also and whatever the stationary solution we have got the l1 l2 l3 l4 l5 the earlier we have discussed it's a just a special case of what we i am talking here right now okay is it much more generalized okay for the three body problem so uh, so in the case of the generalized uh, three body problem so we have to put certain constraint so as earlier it was told that under certain constraint only it can be solved otherwise it cannot be solved three body problem okay and that to we study the generalized property of the system we do not look into the explicit solution then i have also stated that uh, stability of these points so stability of the it can be a stability of the generalized point it can be a stability of the stationary points so but if we consider uh, here in this case while i i supply you will be only discussing about the 
stability of the points L1, L2, L3, L4 and L5 what we have discussed earlier for the stationary solution. And in that case we got the solution as x double dot uh, uh, if we uh, recall the equation x double dot minus omega square uh, this was y minus 2 uh, or this was plus something let me refer back. this was omega square x the first term is omega square x and minus 2 minus 2 omega y dot and on the right hand side we had mu 1 by r 1 q And similarly for y dot we had the equation omega square y plus 2 omega x dot r 1 q y minus mu 2 by r 2 q y and for the z we had so in this equation this is non-linear second order differential equation non-linear each of them ok. So, to solve this and to study the stability what we do that we linearize the system we we st study the stability about certain operating points. So, here in this case our operating points will be L 1, L 2, L 3 and L 4, L 5. Okay. So, if the system is disturbed from let us say this point is L 4. So, if it is disturbed in the neighborhood of this point. So, whether this will get a tendency to return back to its uh, original position or it will orbit around this point or it will go away from this point. So, this will decide whether the system is stable or not stable. Okay, and for that we need to linearize each of the equations. And uh, that representation uh, you know that this was written in terms of the potential function also the right hand side was written in terms of potential function. So, we can express this in terms of potential function and thereafter we can expand and say the if x is the original position. So, x is a deviation from this if we indicate it by alpha. So, if, uh, or say the x 0 is the original position and from deviation from this we write it by alpha. So, this is the perturbed value perturbed position. Similarly, the y we can write as y 0 plus beta and z we can write as z 0 plus gamma. So, uh, alpha beta gamma these are the perturbation in x 0 x y and z. Okay. So, if we do this then the linearized equation it can be written in terms of like the alpha dot minus 2 beta dot assuming omega equal to 1 okay, and this can be taken on this side and it can be whole thing can be represented in the potential function form which we have done earlier. Okay. So, if we follow this uh, particular procedure. So, th this can be uh, expressed the right hand side uh, can be expressed in terms of the derivatives of the potential function like dou u by dou x and it is a higher order derivatives. So, this part 
I am not going to extend any more here. I have just given you the intro introduction or just an idea what can be done. So, using this procedure, this problem can be solved. And once you solve it, so what are the conditions for stability to exist? You can obtain. So, for uh, stability to exist mu which we are write as mu star actually mu we are using all the time mu star notation for m 2 okay, normalized value. So, if this quantity is less than 0 0.0385 and perhaps this quantity is 1 by 26. Yes, this is 1 by around 1 by 26. So, if mu star is less than around 1 by 26, the system will be Langrange points. The stationary points means equilibrium points okay by definition i have written that the equilibrium points are stationary points the st uh, system of stationary points will be stable if this condition is satisfied and this you will get uh, while uh, i supply the material so in the case of the say the sun jupiter system mu star is around 0 0.001 which is less than hence stable Lagrange point exists and what those points will be this will be L 4 and L 5 L 1 L 2 L 3 they are not stable for earth moon system mu star this is nearly equal to 0 0.01 this is again less than 0 0.0385 hence L 4 and L 5 correspondingly will be stable. And in fact in the nature around L 4 and L 5 the number of particles they exist Okay, so, those details I will not be writing here. Okay. Uh, you can get those materials uh, in the soft copy because it will take time writing all those materials, but uh, this uh, what we get that for the earth moon system this uh, L 4 L 5 is stable for the sun Jupiter system also this is a stable and uh, for the sun earth system here the sun is there and the earth is there. So, earth mass divided by m sun plus m earth which equal to mu star this may be of uh, the order of 10 to the power minus 6 that means this is much smaller than 0 0.03. 85. Hence, the sun earth system also contains L 4 and L 5 stable points. And in the nature uh, as I told you the Trojans uh, they are there in the earth Jupiter system uh, this sun Jupiter system around the L 4 L 5 points and also for the sun earth system for the collinear solution also uh, 
they are at very gaseous particles, very small particles. They also exist, okay, and these are very small particles. So, uh, and can exist around the point L two. and these points uh, they are visible uh, in the night sky because uh, the once the sun rays falls on them okay sun rays once they fall on them so it's a visible though it's unstable okay but once the gas particles they are trapped here even though it's unstable these are very small particles okay. so th they become visible so it is considered as if this is sun so uh, it appears like a mirror image of the sun here in this place because the rays from the sun uh, it's a reflected back to the back and then the on from the earth it's a visible okay so these details i will not consider here and uh, i will give you written material for that okay so i will close uh, this uh, mm, discussion about the Lagrange points, its uh, stability, other issues at this uh, stage and whatever the extra things are required, I will supply and th those material based on this already so much of things we have developed. It is uh, just mathematics, you can go through that and some of the written materials will be there, you can uh, study, uh, you, you will get to know the uh, 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 what is the related re reality. Thank you very much.